Hey everybody, welcome to another Monday Views. Today we are checking out the Fab Defense AR style bus stock. Um, so I got this uh, Fab Defense stock recently and I got it in uh, second hand, as you can see, because it's got some uh, Krylon on it. What I got to say about the stock. So, first things, uh, this is a real Fab Defense, it's not a repro, and um, it is a very solid. Uh, AR collapsing stock. Um, it has a QD point here and here, so reciprocating sides. Uh, it's got a nice, very rugged, uh, rubberized grip with some nice, uh, I guess, like lugs built, uh, like almost like the bottom of a shoe or a boot on the back here, and that screws on to the uh, back of the stock. Uh, this actually is really, feel, feels really good on your shoulder and it also keeps it from sliding around and kind of losing its uh, grip on your kit or on your shoulder, especially uh, when it's a little slicker, wet out. I do like the way it's shaped. I'm not sure if that has any specific purpose. Um, it does have a, a grooved textured area back here, which not 100% why you would do that unless you are setting up for the hand to come back onto uh, in a prone firing position, which I still don't know why, but I mean, hey, you never know. The actual adjuster button is pretty cool. It's very um, reminiscent of a Magpul style adjuster. So you just kind of pull this to move it back and forth to telescope it. And then to actually get it on and off, you bring it out a little bit, pull down and then pull the stock off. It's kind of like a little bit of a Magpul style, a little bit of a crane stock style. So it's got a nice cheek weld here, as you can see, uh, kind of slopes at like a 40 degree angle-ish. Uh, and it's like that on both sides. So you get a good um, solid cheek weld when you are um, getting the rifle or just the side of your face. Um, I really like it quite a bit so far. Uh, as far as fitment goes, I put it on my Arcturus rifle and the Arcturus uh, AK-105. Uh, if you've been around the channel for a while, you'll have seen this gun plenty of times in other videos. Uh, the tube itself for the Arcturus is a real st real size, real standard uh, mil spec buffer tube, and that's getting it on. So now the Fab Defense is on the Arcturus buffer tube, and you can see it telescopes throughout the positions. Sorry for shaking the camera. Uh, pretty well. Locks in nicely. Uh, there's not a lot of travel in there. Uh, it's not super loose like you get with a lot of AR, uh, but stock tubes on airsoft guns. Definitely a cool stock. Uh, definitely actually adds to the uh, look of my 105 build. Kind of just brings it in line a little more. I was running a Magpul uh, CTR stock with a riser on here for a little while. Really do like that buttstock, I really love it. Uh, but I thought the Fab Defense would just look pretty sick on here and just add just a little more um, Eastern flavor to my build. A little East meets West. So, overall, definitely uh, look into these. I know there are repros of the Fab Defense stocks. Um, I can't speak on their quality, but if you're looking for this stock or this style and you don't want to spend the money on a real one, because uh, maybe you just don't feel like you need one because it, it's a for a BB War toy, not for a real rifle. Uh, they do exist. You could grab those. Uh, but if you have the money and want to spend it, I do recommend the Real Fab Defense stock. It's really nice. And if you live in a country or place where you can also own real uh, AR style rifles or AKs and you, have, and you get a chance to get like a buffer tube for it, uh, it's nice that you could swap it to and from your toy gun to a real gun. And also just if you happen to have a real rifle with the same stock, uh, this just gives you the ability to train on something similar with the same makeup and setup. I currently don't, but it is in the agenda. I hope you guys got something about this video. Thanks for watching. Um, I've recently uh, crossed over the 560 threshold. Pretty, pretty rad. I can't thank you guys enough for all the support and all the uh, interaction and comments. Uh, keep them coming. As always... Uh, get out there, LARP hard, play some airsoft, and just um, maximize your builds. It, have, building these little toy guns is more than half the fun. And uh, mine just got a little cooler. So, 
Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next one.